Thank you. <laughs> um, good morning. And uh, uh, yeah, this is uh, uh, exciting to be here again. And uh, it's quite early for me, um, but I'm, I'm here. Um, today, I'm gonna introduce my instrument. I'm, I'm, I'm sure some of you already um, you know, know this instrument. Um, 
the piece I just played, um, it's a typical pipa style. And uh, <clears throat> so we're going to talk about the playing style today um, in the, during the ancient time. Um, so pipa with the C with the four strings, right? And uh, the style we just heard is very slow, kind of typical, uh, we call lyrical style. Um, a lot of my, my left hand technique, left hand bending notes. So that's kind of a language of the, the pipa music, but also a language of Chinese traditional uh, music. Um, the piece called Little Bright Moon, but I improvised a little bit in the, in, in the, in the middle. Um, so kind of give you the image of beautiful setting because it's still early in California. Um, so <laughs> kind of like wake up. Um, it's been great and I, I joined the uh, faculty of um, GMW for, so this is gonna be my third year, I guess. Um, it, it is strange, I, I couldn't see you, um, but we're kind of virtually uh, to communicate with you and the meeting with you. But I think it's, it's also good, um, so you can much closer see the instrument, see how I play both hand, the technique side, but also music side. And also you can ask all the questions. Um, so four strings and the tuning is A, D, E, A. So that's uh, one of the, uh, actually from the 19th century. So we settled this tuning um, from the 19th century. So mostly right now, pipa tuning is A, D, E, A. But sometimes we will change. Um, of course, in history, during you know, Tang Dynasty, which is 2,000 years ago, the totally different tuning and also the instrument also is very different. Um, so if we talk about the history of the instrument, you know, this, I've been telling for like thousand times, <laughs> this is from Central Asia, this is from a Persian, uh, this is uh, uh, pipa actually uh, related with the uh, wood, lute, all kinds of string plucking instrument, the mandolin, you know, ukulele, banjo, um, so it's all use a finger to play. But the different is different. Um, pipa also have instrumental style and also um, storyteller style. Um, I grew up with the instrumental, so more concentrate to study how which also, you know, like any other instrumentalist, you know, like you play, you, you practice your fingering, your, your repertoire, you show off, uh, but that's the one side. But also we have a uh, storyteller, just like a banjo. You play the banjo, you're telling the story. Um, so we call Ping Tan, which is near my hometown area in Suzhou, Ping Tan. So I also grew up with that. And that music, more like the player, you basically, you play just one, position, you're not shifting all the time because that takes time you have to practice, but they are mainly a voice to tell a story. They're singing. Um, no, my, I can't, I cannot sing. So that's kind of their, their uh, ping time music. So, <laughs> wow, uh, that's kind of a st um, style. But for me, for a lot of what we call pipa player or pipa virtuoso, 
we're basically like like instrumental. So it's very much like you play fiddle or you play violin. I guess that's the definition difference. So probably you already got that. Um, and uh, for the style, the piece I just played, lyrical style, very um, for left hand, musically beautiful, kind of slow setting. Um, that's, that's one of the pipa style. And also a lot of time, um, with the beautiful titles, you know, Bright Moon and uh, uh, Spring River, uh, that kind of all beautifully, you know, sunset, drum music, flute music at the sunset. So give you ambush from 10 sides. So, so that's kind of telling you the musical style and music story in the music, in that piece. And a lot of time give listener um, direction to listen to um, and so I training from uh, you know I started to play pipa when I was 12 um, actually quite late as a you know a lot of musicians they start their young age like four I couldn't understand a four-year-old I cannot hold this instrument um, but I, I, when I was nine, I started small instruments called Liu Qin, very much like a mandolin, use, use a plectrum play, uh, much small, high pitch. Um, you still would see in Chinese orchestra, there are people playing that uh, called Liu Qin. And when I was 12, and my teacher asked me to, you want to switch to bigger one? So I said, yeah, so this is the bigger one. Um, I didn't know that difficult. <laughs> this is a very difficult instrument. Um, the difficult is because of the demanding, uh, as you see all the, all the technique side. Even this tromolo, I took a lot of time to practice. You know. So all the 10 fingers have to kind of move every day. Um, so that's kind of demanding for the pipa player. You have to practice. And I'm still, you know, struggling with all the, <laughs> every day, you know. <laughs> it's hard, that's why I said, it's a hard instrument. I have to encourage young, young kids to learn and have to take a lot of time. Um, uh, uh, oh. Wait for like video <laughs> and uh, and uh, um, so I'm gonna um, looking at a lot of things, but somehow I don't know the video is on, right? Okay, you, some people watching. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Thank you for watching. It's early here. Um, <laughs> So technically, um, for this hand, I don't know why this comes out. Um, for 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 my right hand, people always fascinated by, oh wow, the pipa play so fast. The the trombone, you know, all the guitarists, they're amazing. They amazingly see this this hand and what's going on because we're we're very different than than other plucking instrument. The way we play. So, uh, you know, you see, I have like fingernails, right? So it's like pick with the five fingers we use taped on. Um, but this is a very kind of modern way to play this instrument. We, uh, older days, all my teachers, they use their natural fingernails. Um, so we play like everything is out. And then when you slowly, slow motion like that. Okay, I'm show you. So this is a good because you can see closer. So that's, I started with this instrument. I play like every day, practice that. 
Um, and then you're gonna go faster. At the same time, there's a dynamic change, right? And you, because you play melody, you, you're not like a bow instrument, they just long bow, but how you play the, the melody or the plucking instrument, we have a tremolo in a different way. You know, two fingers and the five fingers, a lot of different way to play on the, and you the plectrum. So, so how do you do dynamically, how do you do uh, uh, left, left hand? So that's all, see that? And then you add your, Left hand. At the same time, you you do the crescendo. You you do the you know soft and low, uh, loud, and that even. You have to keep that even. So this is the most difficult technique for pipa. Um, it the the this you you have to keep the <clears throat> the motion your 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 body your muscle. I'm sure all the instrumentalists they understand what I'm talking about. Um, I just want to share with you that. Um, so how you do loud, soft, but also. Because because of the fake fingernails, so there are a lot of uh, noisy on the strings. So how do you avoid that noisy? How do you control? Whew, that's okay. I'm not going there, but I'm just telling you, uh, it's amazing. It's it is amazing instrument, um, but at the same time, really encourage um, the player um, demanding. Anyway. Uh, so I grew up with, uh, uh, I'm not family, I'm not musical family, but I'm, my father is a painting uh, artist. Um, so sort of still in the arts, grew up in the arts kind of environment. I grew up in the fine arts college campus and all the artists, different, all kinds of painting. So I grew up with, in that area, in my hometown in Hangzhou, which is close to Shanghai. Um, and uh, and I went to uh, Beijing to music school uh, conservatory when I was 13, um, quite young. I left home and I, you know, stay in boarding school basically and grew up uh, there studying music, studying this instrument. Uh, so that training kind of intense very much um, during my time and the whole education system in China was quite uh, all my lot of teachers, they you know they started in Moscow Conservatory, so they're kind of with the former Soviet Union sort of that educa musical education uh, kind of a system um, learned from there. So we we have um, the conservatory very much like Juilliard, you know Curtis. Uh, we have but we have traditional music department. That means that's pipa, erhu. Dizi, Yang Qing, you know, that traditional instrument. But also we have to learn piano, we have to, we have a um, uh, lot of Western music history, but early before 20th century, 19th century, or early year, Bach, Haydn, we have to listen to, we have to learn a little bit about, you know, about what was, what that, what that music about it. Uh, and uh, so that's basically my training. So. So I grew up with the traditional instrument and a lot of traditional repertoire, traditional music. Um, but at the same time, I, because of the conservatory, so I trained a little bit know a Western music. I learned Western notation, you know, like Western, Western notation. I read that, but also 
we have Chinese notation, pipa notation. In, so, so for me, it's, um, it's a very interesting uh, to see both education system, very different. And uh, sort, of, uh, sort of my generation, it's more like a conservatory trend. It's not like my teacher's generation. Basically, they're, they're you know, study with their father, their grandfather, so from a family tradition. And uh, right now in China, very, very few uh, musicians um, have the family tradition. Mostly, they all went to school to learn. Uh, more like me, you know, conservatory trend that. But so seeing that in the good side is we flexible, we can, uh, you know, read, read music, um, um, both music. So, so that's the good side. And of course, the training, you know, which also kind of would know how to play the instrument well. But uh, the other side, like we lost a lot of uh, the, the spirit of traditional, you know, what is Chinese traditional music? I always ask myself, and uh, why we don't have improvisation? In the conservatory, we never taught uh, what is improvisation. You know, for a lot of musicians, they do improvisation. So, um, especially for traditional music. Um, so that's kind of interesting. And since I came here, in, uh, I came to States 1990, Wow, 30 years ago, and uh, um, I found out, I rediscovered and uh, that my teacher's generation, they all improvised. And all the music, basically right now we're playing this, all the pieces, all based on improvisation. But some master, they notated down. Okay. So it's, it's time to show something. <laughs> so as I mentioned, the, the lyrical style, which is a lot of this hand, uh, left hand details, many other instrumental, so you have many detailed of your hand. How do you holding, how do you handle the music? How do you do that? So, Pentatonic, most people think that's Chinese music, right? That's also... That's also pentatonic, but you see the minor and the major, that's feeling differently. Um, for somehow interesting for pipa music, that, I mean talking about the traditional repertoire, traditional piece, mostly major key, very very few minor key. Somehow always bright, D major, C major, G major, F major. That's the most. If if we have more uh, 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 like sharper and flat get confused. Like if you have a five flat, oh gosh, there, there's just not good for the instrument. Uh, the, the key just, or the notes kind of between. The, the instrument is not speaking well. So if the major key, so very bright, those, the, the, basically the structure of the instrument, that build it that way. Um, of course, you see a lot of frets right now here. Um, that's also very late. Uh, later 19th century, we, even early 20th century, we only have four right here, bigger frets on the top, and the right here, bottom, 10, probably that's it. If you see, uh, if you have chance to go to New York City to see Metropolitan Museum, the instrument department, the, the exhibition there, but not now they closed anyway. <laughs> oh, too bad. Um, if you have chance, next year they will reopen, and they have Ming Dynasty pipa, which is 17th century, 16th century. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Sorry, 
um, but anyway, it's old pipa, and you will see much smaller, much smaller the body of the instrument, smaller, and uh, and the frets much less. So that's the difference. Of course, the tune, tuning is different. The string made the material is different. It was silk strings, very soft. So now I have a fake fingernails. This is a start the seventies, and uh, and the string changed to metal strings. That's why louder. It used to be very small setting, you know, in the house, just uh, self entertainment, few friends, have party at the home, <laughs> not not for the big concert hall. <laughs> uh, I'm sure a lot of traditional music as is same as the Indian music too. I think um, it's it's not for the huge people. It's kind of very cozy and small and deeply listen to, meditate, that kind of. So um, I, I'm gonna try to demonstra um, demonstration the, I'm talking about the improvisation. So I found out uh, the key, if I play this melody, very uh, typical scale or short melody from my hometown area. It's called Jiangnan, silk and the bamboo music. So this is, is the basic tune. And all the pieces later on, even bigger piece, all based on this tune. So the piece I always love to play, the pipa solo piece, White Snow in Spring, Yang Chun Bai Xue, based on, that's it, those few notes. So D major pentatonic. My left hand. So all the people master, they start improvise. And interesting, you see how the, this piece turned to different piece. Snow in spring, Yang Chun Bai Shi, the first section, the first. So I can start from there to improvise myself.
So that's how um, that's how we do it. That's how I learned it. That's how I um, experienced and uh, um, through learning all different styles, learning different um, with the different musicians, and I'm very fortunate actually, and to to understand. You know, sometimes you're training from school, music school. It's not, you know, it's not say bad, but kind of like, you know, you're very narrow in some way. You just try to play better, no raw notes. But, um, but in the real life, you, when you learn from just fascinating all kinds of music, um, as we did this, this uh, community meeting with all the other, my my colleagues in the last few days, right up from last week, and you learned so many different music genres, different music styles, and from a different country, and that's that's how music kind of going to into into your your mind, into your heart. So that's so important. We need we needed that, and uh, it's been difficult. It's been really difficult. Um, stay home and uh, not see you guys lively and to and uh, but uh, I think we all um, have to face that and we'll be getting hope hope we'll be getting better soon um, oh welcome yeah yeah everyone is say wonderful um, <laughs> uh, somehow my computer doesn't uh, very too many things. So, if any questions, I can, I can answer. Uh, do you feel needed to? Already said. Do you feel needed to personally visit China to get? Oh, so go so fast. Um, yeah. Well, that's actually a very good question. If do I have to go to China all the time to get a kind of you know, nurturing? <laughs> that's what you say, right? Because uh, it's so fast going up. I couldn't see my computer. Uh, but uh, um, yes, yes or no. Um, I mean, going back to China and also uh, visit all all the countries. That's actually learned a lot, and to listen to different music. Um, I think, and uh, that's what I what I do. And uh, but also, I yeah, I go to the countryside in China to listen to a lot of country folk music. That's also inspiration to me. Uh, so interesting, and uh, any group said that you, okay, <laughs> thank you. Uh, um, oh gosh, the, the, the questions go so fast, somehow my computer doesn't show. I don't know why, but um, uh, I, yeah, I'm very bad at the technique side, so anyway. And uh, um, yeah, okay, oh, right here, uh, sorry. Um, any questions? Okay, no, not yet. Okay, no, not. Uh, I'm gonna just keep a carry on because I couldn't see. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, Nora ask in your career have you mostly performed solo or in small group or in large groups? Um, I play actually all. <laughs> you mentioned everything I played. Um, so very interesting. In the in the way back to if we talk about southern years old, or southern years way back. So people actually with ensemble. It's it's a comp company instrument. It, as I mentioned, very few notes, very few frets. It's very low, just like a viola. And company with the voice, company with the dance, with a bigger group, but it's kind of in, in most more prominent instrument in in the palace, in the, in the, in the emperor that that ensemble in the court. Um, and later on, um, in Song Dynasty, Yuan Dynasty, and the people came came to more become a folk music instrument. So that's why we play in the local opera and the small groups. Um, but also later on in Qing Dynasty, in the 19th century, and the Bipa became a solo 
solo instrument. So you see how the history going on, the travels, so they become, you know, that's why we, we have a solo repertoire, but yes, I play with the small groups with all the Chinese instrument ensemble, but also with the bigger Chinese ensemble. Uh, now I play with the, with the Western instrument, like a concerto, that's very new, kind of created in the new setting for pipa and with a chamber group, but also solo. Um, as well. So it, yeah, it's, it's, it's involved a lot of different area. Um, uh, yeah, is that, is that, is that, okay. <laughs> um, so I think I'm gonna just carry on to talk about uh, um, other, other, uh, the, the music. Um, career wise, it's, it's, you know, each person is a differently and uh, also different path and different interests. And for me, I um, imagine, you know, like I came here in 1990, I basically, I didn't speak English and nobody knows what this is a strange instrument. It's hard, it's really hard. I had a, a very uh, lonely, I would say that lonely time because um, when I was in China as a student, as kind of like star student, and, and the, 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 the music industry in China, they, they know I am the, you know, the next generation, sort of, I'm not brag, <laughs> I don't want to brag, but that's a long time ago. Um, so I do, I know I, I only, what I only can do is music, I can do I can be scientist, you know, I cannot do any financial. <laughs> so I, I just love arts, love music. So, um, and I came here 30 years ago, like who, what, people no, you know, like what? Uh, but somehow I think if you, if you believe yourself and if you really love what you're doing and that's I think that will somehow you will find a way and to survive and you will find a way to to work through and and I think pipa it's a cool instrument right don't you guys agree with me and uh, why not you know why why not people to know about it and uh, so that's that's I'm kind of I'm still working on you know still try to um, enjoy a play with the people, enjoy to introduce the instrument to, uh, to, to people, to new audience. Um, do you ever use ukulele tuning? Oh yeah, ukulele tuning, is that uh, like a violin tuning? It seems possible eventually for play chords. Yeah, so if I play chords, yeah, but I, I don't, because ukulele is a, f yeah, different tuning, definitely. I, re I can't remember the tuning, but it's a different tuning. Um, it's hard for us to play chords, but we do have some chords. So that's different sound, you know, right? Um, <laughs> that's sounding like fifth glass piece. <laughs> um, yeah, we do have that. We also, we have. We have different. And some uh, composer, they change the tuning. So, ukulele is like top four, four strings with, okay. Yeah. Um, well, it, it's a good idea it, about tuning. We talk about tuning because the pipa is such long body, the, the string has to, so ukulele is a short, so the stretch, the, the tension of the string, they have a different material, right? They have nylon, so we have steel. Um, I think right now the tuning ADEA, it's set for this instrument tuning. If we tune higher the A, the open, the sound will be not good and also the string tension will be easily break. But we do have... Well, 
we do have usually we turn lower in the lower side of the string. Oh, G C E A. That's that's your glee. Interesting. <laughs> um, yeah, I think so. Anything possible if if it fits that instrument, if we change the tuning. But it, it's just that my my left hand the the position I needed to. Yeah, it is cool, right? <laughs> I needed to kind of figure it out. That's a hard one. So <laughs> for us, we have to we have to kind of practice that. Not always pentatonic. Uh, this instrument is amazing. Could speak all kinds of language. It's it's just if if the player wanted to or or learn that way or or you know that's you know all possible. All instrument could be you know violin. They play Persian Indian music. They the style or it, that's all possible. So. Um, like if I'm based on that tune, if I could be play different scale. So this is a different mode. This is a not not Chinese what we what I grew up with. So this is like more west part of China. We were we were tuning. very different and also could be very modern in some way, you know.
yeah, it's a very interesting um, instrument. Is life. It it's not dead. It's not dead piece. It's like a person. Um, just to me, and uh, like part of part of me. So if I wanna uh, if I wanna speak. I want to speak a different language. If I learned well, I know that language well. I know that that style, and uh, actually, you can do it. Um, so, I think we're almost. Uh, any other questions? Is it tuning uh, four four eight? Yes. Uh, yeah, I tune with that. Four forty. That's, um, but also depends. Sometimes if I play with a singer, they kind of low, I could tune it not on the, like a right on like piano A, I could slightly different. But we, uh, we you know, we have a lot of, um, like what's called a quarter, quarter tune that, big vibrato, we have a lot of use with vibrato to, to play uh, like, like Indian music. Enough. So, ornamentation we do a lot. Um, and tuning wise, mostly yes, it fit with the 440, but also depends. Sometimes I can shift a little bit. I tune lower, but not high. I don't like high, little lower, it's fine. Um, uh, Oh, sorry, <laughs> I couldn't <laughs> see the questions. And uh, I think, uh, thank you very much. I mean, we have like two minutes. Uh, any more questions? Everything is done. <laughs> How is it uh, with the modern style on pipa compared with the Ryan? It is easier, Ryan, yes, because of the tuning. So there's another instrument called Ryan. I, I, I learned Ryan I, when I was in school. I actually play well. <laughs> play well. <laughs> um, uh, Ryan, it's, it's a, basically, it's a new invented instrument. It's not a traditional instrument. It's in the history, yes, there is a southern time. Southern years ago, there is a, mon, we call mon guitar, um, round the body and, and, and straight neck. Um, like Sanmi Xian or San Xian, um, in the in the in the history, but lost for for decades, centuries, and uh, so right now you see Chinese instrument run. It's basically reinvented during the 60s, um, because the the Chinese traditional orchestra they needed some kind of low sound. So so that's why they kind of rebuild use their imagination. Just, just look at the book. <laughs> they rebuilt that instrument. So, uh, yeah, definitely for that sense, Ryan have nothing in the in the literature. There's no piece. There's no music for that. But so basically, more like a company uh, instrument. Um, so it is it easier to learn because you use a you use a pick and the tuning and and the. Um, not many styles, but the, the sound is amazing and compared with the pipa or with the, with the other string plucking instrument put together. So it's perfect in the orchestra, it, but it's not, to me, okay, to me, it's not yet uh, to become a, like, a, like a pipa, sort of the, the literature that heavy, that fascinating the style differently, um, yeah. That's, that's how a lot of kids start playing run and then they can switch to different instruments. That's how I did too. Um, uh, the tuning is the same. No, tuning is not same as run. Run is so re, so re, la, re, la, re, that kind of, but I don't know right now. Probably that's, that's, yeah, so re, so re, la, re, la, re, the mi, la, mi, la, that's the tuning. Uh, one of the short from a West, more short song from a West. Um, 
didn't know the new invent. I didn't know. Oh, that's good. Now you know it's new <laughs> invented. <laughs> I mean now because all the instrument already gone. Um, uh, after Tang Dynasty, we did we did not see any Yuan history in the book. Talk about Yuan, Song Dynasty. There is no Yuan. Song, Yuan, Ming, Qing. They all disappeared. There's no Yuan. Talk about only Pipa. Zizer, you know, Qin, even Zhen, it's not this exists. Zhen also invented later. Um, yeah, if you, that's very interesting. Um, the Chinese history. Nylon string right now. Um, yeah, right now it's uh, uh, steel strings right now. Uh, but the nylon in outside wrapped by nylon. Uh, but all the days. Uh, silk strings, nylon strings, and also gut string and then nylon strings. So this is a new kind of new, new wave, new strings, also invented during 60s, 70s, and 80s more popular, and the 90s even, you know, people all use that. The, I found my father's, oh wow, uh, need a new strings, where you get a new strings? Google, online, there are a lot of Chinese uh, instrument store, I don't know where you live, but usually if you go to, if you New, New York, they're Chinatown, they're kind of like a bookstore. They usually have instrument, uh, the, the strings get with the guitar, pipa, ziz, gu zhen, that's sometimes they sell. I don't know, it still exists anymore, but definitely check online. I uh, love you, Miss. Thank you very much. I think we're, 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 <laughs> today we're, we're, yay, we're, <laughs> Have a good day and uh... have a good weekend. I hope to see you soon in the Royal Council Hall. And um, yes, please enjoy um, my next colleague will be next, uh, I think it will be Monday. And to tell you, and sister of Pipa, Wood, the king of the plucking string instrument. People actually all came from that tradition. So please join us. Thank you very much. Bye.